Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Please know that this is definitely not financial advice. I am only here to entertain you and to remind you to buy on red candles. What a vicious, terrible, horrendous day it was for crypto.com. Man, everybody was just piling on crypto.com, fudding crypto.com, fanning the flames of FUD with crypto.com. And one of the people who I think was the worst offenders was CZ from Binance. Why, why does he have to do that? He's got everybody clutching their pearls, talking about how they're trying to get their crypto off crypto.com and just spreading mass panic. I have a lot of crypto on crypto.com. I did not remove anything from crypto.com. As a matter of fact, I purchased more crypto on crypto.com today. I purchased more Kronos because I scooped it up for a nickel. So if I was bullish for crypto.com at 50 cents, I'm definitely bullish for it at a nickel. I still believe in, in the Kronos. Now, we had a lot of people on Twitter, especially some of the bigger influencers, talking about how they dumped out of their Kronos positions today, and they were so glad that they did it, even though they took a little bit of a loss, but they were glad that they did it because they saw things that they were concerned about. Well, one of the biggest things on Twitter today that caused a lot of FUD was a transaction that happened three weeks ago. Uh, they're making like this thing happened yesterday or the day before. It didn't. It happened three weeks ago, ago, and that has been completely resolved. And in case you have any more questions about that transaction that happened between a crypto.com wallet and a gate.io wallet, please watch the AMA that's being held tonight on their YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I just will admit I did not know Crypto.com had a YouTube channel, but apparently they do. There's going to be an AMA. It's going to be at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't catch the live, and by the way, I will leave a link for that down in the description because I think it's important that if you are a Crypto.com holder, you should be watching that, okay? Especially if you're someone that's a little shook and you're thinking about draining everything out of Crypto.com, it's important for you to know everything that they're going to be talking about, understanding what that transaction was, understanding understanding what their holdings are so that you feel confident that this exchange is just not bolstered by the crow. Like that's not all that they're holding. Sort of like FTX. They propped it up with their own FTT token as well as Alameda Research Group. The majority of their holdings were their own tokens that they minted. That's not good. So it's important for you to understand what that exchange holds. And of course, their number one holding is Bitcoin. And surprisingly, their number two holding was Shiba Inu, which really did surprise me. But when I think back, you know, on all of my different crypto ventures, all of the different exchanges that I have cryptocurrency on, I would say every exchange that I'm on, I have sheep across all of them. So if I have a lot of SHIB, then it's probably certain that a lot of other people hold a lot of SHIB. So it makes sense that that's their number two holding. So I'm going to leave a link for the AMA down in the description. I think it's important that you watch it, you know, just so that you can get just a little more comfortable and don't cause like a mass panic, like a an old time run on the bank, because that's what I saw today. A lot of people just trying to stoke a lot of fears and and cause a lot of FUD, you know, people panicking and surprise, well, maybe not surprisingly, but CZ from Binance, I think he's like one of the worst offenders when it comes to, you know, pointing a finger without actually pointing a finger, just dropping nuggets of comments out there and people draw conclusions from what he's saying, although he's not directly saying anything. And he just drives me crazy because there's no reason for him to do that. Listen, he's sitting comfortably at number one. So when we look at all of the different exchanges that there are. Of course, Binance is number one. They're doing over 13 billion in volume every single day. We use Binance.us, okay? That's ranked number four, and that's doing about $193 million a day. Where is crypto.com? Why does he fear crypto.com? It's nestled down here in the 17th position. They're doing about a half a billion dollars in volume every single day. 
So they're doing good. It seems to be a healthy exchange, and we definitely will learn more about the exchange and its holdings with the AMA that is going to be held tonight. So once again, if you're a holder there on crypto.com, please don't miss this exchange. And it's important for you to have knowledge about the exchanges that you work with. It's important for you to watch that because the more knowledge that you have, the less that you are going to be shook whenever you see some of these top influencers talking about how they dumped out of their crow positions and they're glad they do it. They took a loss and all this. When you have knowledge on your side and you know things, little comments like that are not going to upset you. You know, you're going to be resolute in your position. Like, you know, I think I'm I'm doing the right thing here. I, I think that when I bought Crow at a nickel, I got a sweet buy and I'll be holding from here. This is just me talking randomly in my mind. This is not telling, this is not me telling you to buy more crypto.com at a nickel. That's definitely not what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I'm doing with my holdings. And a lot of other people feel the same way. You know, I saw a lot of other people out there as well talking about how they scooped up more crypto.com at a nickel. And there was one guy out there saying, you know what, there's really not a use case for Kronos. And I'm thinking to myself, this is somebody that has never participated in the DeFi wallet or any of the dApps. They know nothing because if they did, if they ever went on to VVS or Single or any of these other coins or tokens that are in that ecosystem, they would know that in order to participate in that ecosystem, you have to pay using the native token, the Kronos. So there is a hundred percent a use case for Kronos. I don't know what they're talking about, but once again, that's called fanning the flames of fear. And if you're not somebody that's in the know and you look at a comment like that, it will scare you. So this is why it's important for you to be informed about your holdings and exactly where you are holding them. Okay. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And once again, below in the description, I will leave a link for that AMA. If you can't catch it live, definitely catch the review, you know, watch it all the way through and become an informed investor. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. Take care. Have a good night.